asked for Daria Sound, who wanted to ask me a few questions, so I did a quick little Q&A with her. Um, I've got one shout out, and I'm very sorry I forgot to shout you out when I was on holiday. It is Zoe Poo Poo Head. So, um, hi Zoe, hope you're having a good day today. Right, so there are six questions, and uh, they were asked by Daria Sound, who is one of my longtime subscribers. And um, I actually chat to her as well. She's a nice person, we get on well. Um, and she always has really good ideas for video requests. So, this is her questions to me. So, number one, how many languages do you speak? I speak English. I also speak a bit of German. Um, it's not brilliant, but I can hold a simple conversation with a German person. I've done it on a couple of times when I've been on holiday. I also know a few Japanese words from watching so much anime. Um, I'd love to visit Germany, though, because then I get to try out my German. And I can, if I watch something that's in German, I can get the gist of what's going on. So it's not brilliant. I did it for five years at school. Over here in the UK, we have to learn French or German, but you get to pick one to sort of go on and do your GCSEs. And I picked German because I felt it was easier. And quite a lot of the words sound a bit rude, so I thought it would be more fun. Um, so number two, is there any kind of robot toy that really creeps you out? And she said, I didn't have to answer this if I didn't want to, um, but there aren't really any kinds. The only kind of robot toys that would freak me out is if the latex or rubber on them started to go funny. I don't particularly like like it when the rubber kind of hardens, it doesn't look very nice. Um, it's kind of creepy. Uh, I think the only one that I've never really been big on... Um, when the original Furby 2005s came out, they creeped me out. I have to admit that. But since actually owning one, I've um, I've come to actually kind of like them. They're quite cute. So um, they don't really creep me out anymore. I think if, if you experience the thing or actually come and sort of meet and interact with the thing, it seems less creepy than looking at pictures. Um, so, for example, if you find snakes or spiders a bit creepy, you may still find them creepy if you kind of look at one in real life. But um, I've known a lot of people with snakes actually take their snakes around and introduce them to people to show that snakes are actually they're quite fun and nice animals they're not scary really at all um but my boyfriend's mother would disagree with me because she's got a bit of a fear of snakes but I like snakes but anyway that's going off the thing so yeah the only one that I really that's really creeped me out was the 2005 Furby um are you familiar with the Russia Ukraine conflict and what thoughts do you have what's your position well my position is that war is wrong there are better ways to sort things out than forcing someone to do what you want them to do, which is basically what's happening. Um, I'm not really into talking about politics and things, but I don't agree with the war. I think that it's, it's really heartbreaking because those of Ukrainian people have died. Families have lost their loved ones. And I've met some Ukrainian people uh, because a lot of them have uh, seeked refuge over here. And they're nice people, and they didn't ask for any of it. So I think that the sooner it's over, the better, really. So my position is I support Ukraine. Um, number four, what is your profession or job? I'm a freelance artist. I work from home. I create artwork, and um, I do commissions and things like that. A lot of it at the moment is plush work, and when I'm not taking commissions, I make um, plushies and various bits and pieces to sell in my Etsy shop. I've always been bigger on... Um, taking commissions rather than making things to sell because if you make it and it doesn't sell you feel you've wasted a bit of time um, and I'm also a carer for my mum as well um, so that's my profession uh, number five is there any kind of places or countries you want to visit where do I start I've wanted to go to Australia ever since I was a little kid um, I want to go to Japan uh, I want to visit my friends in Austria. Uh, I want to go to Germany to visit my friend Kel. Hi, if you're watching Kel. I know she watches some of my videos. Uh, I just love travelling. I'd, I'd go anywhere. I mean, there are really beautiful places in the world. And, you know, I'd love to visit all of them if I had the money. And the, well, not really the time, I suppose. But, you know, being a carer, you've got to be around the person a lot of the time. So I can't go too far but my dad actually helps care for my mum as well um, a little bit but he's got a heart condition so he finds it difficult which is why I'm the main carer um, 
so yeah there's there's if i had the money i would just i want to go back to america again i've got friends over there who want to see me I want to go back to calgary again i've got a friend over there who i'd like to see again um yeah i'd, I'd love to do like a tour across america that would be fun again if i had the money which i don't but yeah no it's just i just i just love traveling i mean I, you know i've been to a lot of places and there's still many more i'd love to visit and what is my favorite color it's purple and that's that question so i hope you've enjoyed hearing my answers to the questions thanks very much for asking them daria um and that's all for this video i think i probably put up a couple of q and a's in the uh, boxes below, um, or at least one of the boxes below. But I tend to link a playlist in the other one. So, yeah, feel free to check them out. Check out my Etsy and in Monday if I have talked about them, or I'm, I accept tips on uh, Kofi as well. Uh, everything helps because freelance artists, money isn't constant. So, um, I can make quite a bit of money one day and then nothing for a few weeks. It's like that if you're an artist. Uh, so stay safe, stay healthy, and keep being awesome. This is Silver signing off.